continuing our hunt for temperate rainforest mushrooms, where we left off in the previous episode. Join us as we continue to explore new ground and expand our knowledge of this mushroom patch. went to grab that lobster mushroom he spotted some uh, limestone caves here's some more lobbies whoa yeah that's that's pretty dangerous goes straight down to be careful 30 where I feet walk. yeah it goes down pretty far in there so we got to be really careful where we walk here so we don't fall into one of these oh yeah wow let's check this one out look at this the limestone how it's eroded It goes in. Filled in with sediment? Yeah. Oh no, it keeps going. Yeah, isn't that interesting? We have to be careful along these waterways if there's more caves. It goes into a cave. Look, the water just disappears into a hole in the ground. Beautiful clear stream that goes into the depths of the earth down there. Here's a nice big western red cedar tree, still alive. And that's the longest living tree we have in our forests here.
lots of babies to come back to. More Belitis. Belitis? I'm glad the frost didn't beat us to the Belitis. That color really stands out on the forest floor. Look at that. Fifteen pounds there, I'd say. This side. Back in the bush. Oh, there's a shanty. For a hemlock, that's pretty big. Look at that cedar stump. Yeah, those are pines. And now what we want is these bigger ones because we are drying them. So that one has worms. So you just keep cutting until you don't see them. This one's no good. Check this one. No good. Piece of a hemlock. No good. But the rest had worms. And then Alex got some buttons. An old cauliflower growing right out of the top of an old Douglas fir stump. Now it's too old to take. Not even going to bother with it. But that's pretty cool to see. Crazy.
That's a beauty, King. Wow. <gasps> Look at that. That's a big one. A big Holy thing. crow. Beauty. Nice one. A couple more of those, please. Yeah, that's, that's a beauty. Not wormy, so I'm gonna have to strip the foam on that one, the sponge, but I'll get some some nice dried porcini out of that. <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. There's an even bigger one here that's gone bad. Look at the size of this one. It's lug food now. So these were completely covered. They're very, very white. So... Looks good. So we'll leave all that. Check this. So I do find it easier to clean these at home on the cutting board, but we'll just give it a little bit of a trim. One of my favorites. Now that is an even bigger hemlock than we've seen yet. Again, this is this tree is dead. I've got to be careful here. But that's pretty big for a, a hemlock. There's our mixed mushroom tote. So if we were selling fresh, we'd be a lot more careful about cleaning these in the forest and keeping them separated. But because we're drying everything and washing most of our mushrooms before drying them, um, we can deal with all of that at home. A forest bounty. Okay, last quick pick of the day here. We're losing our daylight, as you can see. The sun is disappearing over there. And we're pretty high up on the mountain now. There's still icicles on the road here. Frost down there. Wow, it's getting hard to see, sorry about that, but we just hit a nice little spot to end our day on. That's great to hear because this is the zone I was trying to get to for the last three times we came up here and we just never made it. Right away we hop in the bush. And here we go. If we're where I think we are, you could walk for three or four kilometers without hitting a clear cut here. This might be the biggest section of patch. It's only 5.30 p.m. It's just getting too dark, so had to walk away from the end of that patch. I'll come back here next time I come picking. But 
it's the right thing to do right now is to get out of the bush because it's going to be totally dark soon. All right, enjoy the evening drone flight and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching everybody. We hope you enjoyed today's foraging adventure. If you did, then consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel for more content. The best way to support us is to head over to our online store and get yourself some of the wild forest fungi that we harvest here on our channel. Thanks for watching, everybody.